the end of the profit fear model and what that means for YouTube content. Howdy everybody. So many of you that's been around here know that uh, I have been uh, in the business of making vinyl, cut vinyl decals for, uh, for quite a while. However, um, another one of the hats that I wear is I build websites. Most of the time those websites are for some type of retail. Now something that you probably don't know because I don't talk about is that I have this uncanny ability. It's a natural ability to seek out marketing, to, to seek out the proper markets, um, ways to um, make an impression on individuals in a particular market. <clears throat> Much, much, much of it has to do with basically human psychology. Has to do with pattern recognition and trends. I, once again, have this uncanny ability to help steer a business, especially retail, to where the flow of income is. I've built several websites for individuals and um, it was plain as day. You know, as long when I was when I was a part of their operation, you know, I would always give advice because I'd take a look around, and I would see what's going on, and I would always give advice. Not, you know, I wouldn't tell people, "Oh, you got to do this, you got to do that." But if I could think of a little bit of an idea, especially a niche, if I could find a niche that somebody could go park themselves into, I would make sure to bring it up. And it's just one of those things that I've always been really good at. Now, I suck as a businessman. Absolutely, I'm one of the worst business people that I think exist on the planet Earth. <clears throat> How is that? How can you be good at retail business and suck as a business person? Well, because I sell myself short 100% of the time. I'm not... I, I need somebody to represent me, right? So, you know, the, the costs are set this amount, what have you. I need that person to say, well, this is the cost because I just want to give everything away. And you can't do that. You, you will not do well in business if you just give everything away. But for some reason, I even feel a level of guilt for giving somebody an honest quote on something. Like if I were to build, if I build somebody a website, I can guarantee you it's way, way cheaper than that they could even fathom having it done. Why? Because I'm just sitting here on my ass typing on a computer screen. I'm not out there carrying hod, right? I'm not out there mixing concrete. I'm not out there trimming trees. I'm sitting on my ass typing on a computer. And it's hard for me to equate charging somebody an insane amount of money to to do that 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 just it just beyond me um that's me that's my hang up and that's also my downfall <clears throat> so that's why I suck as a business person it doesn't mean that I don't understand business it doesn't mean that I don't understand how to bring in business I just not good at representing myself. So there's been a trend change and that's largely due to the politics in this nation. Gonna get to more of the meat of the, the topic here. <clears throat> so for the last four a little plus years or so, uh, there has been a, uh, a very profitable fear model rise up. Now, fear is something that's always profitable. It's always profitable. But in order for you to be able to really uh, milk that, if you will, is you have to have stuff to, to talk about. You have to have stuff to engage somebody's emotions, if you will. You're going to see a big change in the content on YouTube coming up. And the reason I say that, and the only reason I, I made that long preface into this is because 
I'm trying to, to, to show you that I've got experience in this very thing and being able to read trends and pattern recognition and all that when it comes directly to the business market, the retail market. And you watching this video, in a sense, is, is part of the retail market. Now, I'm not making any money off of this, but if I was... Obviously, it's part of the retail market. If I was trying to sell you some goods or services with this video, right? It's part of the retail market. <clears throat> and even, you know, if YouTube wants to put commercials on it, right? Guess what? Part of the market. So, um, what I really see happening, and I've, I've actually already witnessed it on some, on some level. Not a lot yet. Now, see, I come, as far as YouTube is concerned, I come from doing news for over a decade. And there's one thing that you learn from telling the truth, and that's that nobody wants to hear it on either side. Nobody wants to hear the truth. This side wants their side of the story. This side wants their side of the story. Nobody wants the truth. There's, uh, selling truth isn't, a thing that can be done. <laughs> I'm convinced of it. However, whenever you side with society's emotion, you don't have to tell truth. All you have to do is make people feel the way that it is that they're seeking to feel. So for the last four years, there's been a lot of people that's kind of got into this vicious fear cycle, right? To where everything's doomed, everything's doomed, everything's doomed. And they would come to YouTube or they would go online to Facebook groups or to Reddit, subreddits or whatever the hell they call them. And they would get their daily dose of fear, right? That's going to change. And the reason why is because that society that has wrapped itself in a cocoon of, of fear for the last four or so years, that's going to change. They're not going to be wrapped in fear anymore. Why? Much because of politics. Much because of what's happening in the political sphere right now. And not only will, be, will people be taking that cocoon of fear off but now they're going to lash back and even though it's telling the truth right they're going to lash back at anybody that isn't tickling their ears and makes them feel better just watch write this video down on a calendar Write this video down on a calendar. Mark my words. In six months from now, provided that we aren't thrown into a world war before Trump can take office, provided that Trump makes it to our inauguration day and is inaugurated, right? As long as there's no world war, and as long as Trump makes it to inauguration and is inaugurated, right? He's not assassinated or nothing crazy, right? <clears throat> Six months from now, the markets will be much different. And I'm not talking about Wall Street. I'm not talking about... I'm talking about the buyers, the consumers, their perceptions, their wants, what attracts them, what pushes them away, what makes them feel good, what angers them. All of that is going to change just a little bit. And you're going to find out that more and more, as and channels have already started to see this, witness this, the more and more you bring up news articles, like they've been doing for the past four years, bring up news articles just trying to pump that fear out, pump that fear out, they're going to have pushback on that. Now they're going to see pushback on that. And it's not going to do well for their model. It's just not. So it's going to be interesting. I, I see nothing but good, to be honest. I see nothing but good. I mean, my at this point in time, I am pretty damned optimistic about the future. Why? 
Well, because maybe we can get back to work, right? I'm not talking about just myself. I'm talking about all of us. Whatever it is that we all have been aspiring to do. Maybe now we can get back to work. You know? I don't run any kind of a model other than truth. And it's not a very popular one. It's not very popular in business either. It's just not. Um... It's, it's quite interesting. I had mentioned that I've been involved in several different retail businesses as far as doing their website and stuff like that. And this is just a fact. When, for whatever reason it is that I step away from the project, it go, their, their revenue goes down. Like, hard, sharp, boom. And the only thing that changed... And I'm not in that contact with them any longer. And I'm not throwing out those ideas that pop up in my head. You have to be able to read the consumer market to be good at that. And I've been able to do it in a number of different markets. Anything from freaking paint to... <laughs> I've been involved in several, like, survival supply businesses doing their websites not just prepper nurse one not just big daddy unlimited or survival dispatch um i uh i just tell the truth in fact that's why probably the largest reason why i don't do the decals for uh, angry american any longer because i won't go back on my principles there are certain things that I will not do. One thing that I will not do is I will not promote the blue line. Not for a second. Not for a second. Because I know what that means. I know exactly what that means and I won't have any part of it. Well, uh, Chris Weatherman, a.k.a. Angry uh, American, he had contacted me. And he wanted a variation, I guess, of his logo that included a blue line flag. And I said, can't do it. Can't do it. And um, that was that. I never made another decal for him again. So, it is what it is. He turned around. He went and started buying cheap stickers... Ch stickers, not decals, stickers, cheap printed stickers that scratch and fade, and charged more for them, right? And I guarantee you he paid a lot less for those t stickers than what he did the decals because you're talking about layering three colors, right? It's, uh, it's time-consuming, it's tedious, it's, you know, but I don't mind doing it, and I gave him a good deal for doing it, Right? No, no, no sweat, but uh, I'm not going to do any blue line stuff, right? There are some businesses I won't make anything for. If you ask me to make something uh, for Apple, right? Say you want a, an Apple logo on the back of your car, right? Won't do it. Won't do it. Because I am that much against that corporation. <clears throat> I have, and this is, you know, I know a lot of people just throw, like to throw stuff out there. I'm not just throwing this out there. I have literally walked away from way more money than I could have ever made in my life. Or than I have made, sorry. I mean, I've walked away up from shit tons of money. I was making a lot of money with Prepper Nurse One. I mean, it, it was rolling in, folks. It, it was rolling in. Right? But when I seen how he wasn't remaining in communication with his customers, he was just blowing them off while he was off running off and doing this, running off and doing that. When I seen him just totally ignore responsibility, I had to get away from that. One of the large reasons I had to get away from that is that can come back on me. If I'm the cat that's building the website that people are going and buying stuff off of, 
guess what? <clears throat> and at the time, our merchandise was going pretty good. Everything was great with that. And so I backed out. I gotta, I'm gotta. i not going down with that ship. I am not going down with that ship. And again, just another instance to where I backed away. I got out of a project and the business went flat. Hmm. One thing I, I couldn't do is play on people's fear to get them to buy legacy foods or anything for that matter and that isn't why though that I walked away I walked away because of his lack of responsibility and I didn't want to become legally responsible for his irresponsible you know endeavors <clears throat> I'm telling you, the market's going to change. YouTube's actually, as far as content creators, I think it's going to be for the better. I think uh, the preppers are going to be forced to get back into the preparedness <laughs> content. And uh, hopefully they stay there. Hopefully they stay there. It may sound harsh, but again, I stand for the truth. And so many of these channels will stretch or skew or whatever. Or they'll jump on something that they know is not true. But hey, I've got an article for it. And do everything they can to induce fear. That's absurd to me. But the people were demanding that. And that's what was selling. That's what was selling. And so that's all these people care about. They care about the fact that you will click on their video. And most of them don't give a damn on how they have to do it. You've got females that are strip, stripped down into skivvies to make bushcrafting content. Right? I bet people can figure out who I'm talking about there. To make bushcrafting content. That's how sick and disgusting and and to me it's it's sick that people will stoop so low. But that's me. My my morals and my scales are much different than the average person's. For good reason. God told me to be set apart. And as I look out around me, I understand why. So yeah, stuff like that, you you may like seeing a bushcrafting chick in nothing but a sports bra and underwear. You may you may like that. I don't. It disgusts me. It disgusts me. It makes me sad. For how low someone will stoop. What what they're willing to do. To get people to click that video link. That's. You're worth more than that. You're supposed to be worth more than that. So let's hope. I, I do think that things are going to change. I think content's going to turn around. I think uh, prepping channels are going to get back more towards prepping. Because I think the news thing, I think, is going to backfire on them moving forward. Um, and the fear model is going to backfire on them moving forward. So, just watch. Mark it on a calendar six months from now. Again, my disclaimer. Barring that uh, Trump isn't off before inauguration or we aren't involved in a world war before inauguration. Six months. Come back and check me on this. Shalom.